Morning everyone. Just got a quick demo for you to illustrate a point that arose in a conversation I had last year with my friends at Dale Rowney. And they asked me if I could identify uh, a top tip or one specific piece of advice that I would give to anybody that's learning how to paint watercolours, finding their way around the medium and want to take their paintings to the next level. So yeah, of course. Um, and the tip is extremely simple and it is to use more paint. It sounds, yeah. a, sounds a silly thing to say um, because we're painting, right? So surely we're using lots of paint. But it's not always the case, sadly, in watercolour. And I find that some students and those that are learning how watercolour works just don't use enough water, they don't use enough paint, and it leads to paintings that look a bit dry, that look a little bit scrubby and don't have that transparency and vibrancy that you would want in a watercolour that shows a good technique. So come with me and I'll show you what I mean. So I've got a piece of paper here, uh, it's a piece of Langton paper, really good quality stuff from Daler. I'm going to paint this box here in a way that I call painting too dry. And it's a, a, a problem that I see regularly when I take lessons and, and workshops. I'm just going to quickly mix up some paint. First problem is my brush is too small for the area that I'm going to cover. And this doesn't help to create a good technique. So I've mixed up some paint. It's probably not enough. And watch how I apply this with a brush that's too small. I'm scrubbing it on and I'm moving the paint across the paper as much as I can until I get that feeling that it's almost run out. Then I'll go back in and I'll get some more paint on the brush and I'll carry on. And it's almost as though I'm using felt tip pens, but I'm sort of scrubbing around here. And I'm not using watercolour in the way that it was intended. And then I'm working back into what I've already painted. There's nowhere near enough paint being applied to this particular area. And what happens is it starts to look a bit scrubby. It doesn't look very fresh. And it doesn't look how watercolour should. And then what happens, you see, is you start running out of paint and you're desperate to eke it out. So you keep on going like this. And then we've got a problem. Ah, run out of paint. So I've got to mix some more. This has started to dry. And now I start painting again. And you get the idea. This is, it's not a fun way to paint this. It's, um, it's not the best way to use watercolour by any stretch of the imagination. Well, I'm going to leave that there. And now I'm going to show you how we do it properly. So first up, let's use a decent sized brush to cover this particular area and let's make things so much easier for ourselves by mixing plenty of paint more water don't be afraid to mix up too much because you can always use this again for another part of the painting even if it's gray you might add a bit of red a bit of yellow in that's fine that's no problem at all just mix up plenty for the job you've got in hand. And as I paint this, you will notice the difference. I've got loads of paint on the brush. And as I put it down, you can see there's a bead forming at the bottom of where I've just painted. If that doesn't appear when you apply paint or watercolour to a painting, generally speaking, you haven't got enough wet paint on your brush. And I'm painting back into that wet bead, just bringing it down the paper. The board's at an angle, of course, which helps this to come down the paper. It's wet, it's juicy. You can see it all running down the paper. And if you feel it's almost getting out of control, you're probably doing it just about right. 
There's no scrubbing. I've got that bead and I keep it moving down the paper. And you can see the difference is remarkable. On the left hand side, where I've painted it as dry, it's horrible. It's scrubby. Where I had to stop and mix some more colours, there's a nasty join here where this area had started to dry and I painted into it while it was wet. It just doesn't look good at all. Here it's transparent, it's shiny, it doesn't look scrubbed, it doesn't look muddy. It's how you should paint watercolour. Use lots of paint. It's the top tip and it makes so much difference to your paintings in a number of different ways if you can get into the habit of using lots and lots of watery paint. Look at the difference for yourself. It's quite evident. Well, thanks very much for watching. That's it. It's that simple. Just use more water, use more paint, and you will find that your watercolours take on a whole different characteristic. They'll start to look fresh and vibrant and the transparency of the medium will be shown off to its best advantage. Have a go with the little exercise that I did if you like, or if you want to launch into a painting, great, have a go at that too. But remember, use lots of water, use lots of paint. I'll see you next time.